Take a look at a Motu 828 Firewire. This is the type of interface that would be used in a recording studio to interface like an 8-track um, ADAT into the console. It has 8 inputs, 8 outputs, and SPDIF, and um, optical, and control for an ADAT machine for syncing it up and so forth. Anyway, this one apparently doesn't work. It's got a power supply problem. We're going to see if we can get uh, this thing resolved. This is the piece of equipment that you might uh, find in a recording studio. It's a Motu 828 Firewire. And what this is, is it's a uh, A to D, D to A converter that will convert analog sources from line input or microphones, balanced and unbalanced, and it will uh, spit out a Firewire 1394 and spit it in and out. So it'll convert analog signals to digital and it will convert digital signals back to analog. And you've got your outputs here. Inputs 1, 2 through 8 and then outputs 1 through 8. So for use in like a multi-channel, like an ADAT for example, and if you had an ADAT you'd sync it here and your ADAT would, would go up to uh, optical input. Well, this apparently does not work. And it was brought to me already in pieces. I don't have to take it apart. And uh, I guess there's one or two screws in the back that i got to take out that's just, just holding it together. Other well, torques, that's why they didn't take those out. He couldn't get them apart. Do I have the right torques for this? I do have the right torques. So let me just uh, get these last couple screws out and we'll take a look at this thing and see if we can get it to fire up the guy that owns it thinks it's a power supply problem but we'll see So I don't really know a heck of a lot about this. I have no info on it. It's uh, from 2001. It looks like it's got a conventional power supply and the fuse has been removed. So what we're going to do on this is I'm going to uh, power this thing up without a fuse. I'll put it on my current limiter. So that way if there's a problem, it's not going to blow anything up. And uh, we'll see whether it does anything. Because as, as you can see right now, there's no fuse in it. So we'll just bypass the fuse and see if this thing will fire up. Okay, power on. Okay, I've got a light sliding up here. That's a good sign. Maybe it's just the fuse is blown. Wouldn't that be something if it was just a blown fuse? Clock 44.1 and 48 were flashing. Now it's it's synced up at 48. You can see the, uh, the spin of output is also lighting up red, so that's a good sign. That cap looks like it's blown. Right there. That cap is shot. That might be all that's wrong with this thing. You can see it. It's 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 popped. The top is popped on it. That might be all that's wrong with this thing. There's a bad cap and a popped fuse. I guess about all I can do on this is uh, we'll, we'll change out this cap. I really don't have a means to test this thing. But uh, it's obvious that, that that cap is popped. You can see the top is raised and it's actually coming right off the board. So that might be all that's wrong with this one. Let's hope that that's all it is. See if I can get the board onto this thing without too much trouble. I don't want to break that bit. These, these bits are great, but they shatter easy if you put too much torque on them. Therefore, they're just for the small screws only. I should have a number one. 
bit here that will work. There we go. So this is held together by a bunch of uh, a bunch of screws. Almost overkill. Everything's screwed down to the board. <laughs> this board's going to come out, and then there's more screws that have to come out from below it. There's standoffs that have to come out too. Looks like this this board's got to lift out first. This board's going to lift out, and then these standoffs or standoffs have to come off the board, and then it should be able to lift out. Now, I'm sure I'm missing one or two here. Oh yes, one more screw over here. Let's hold the regulator down. Now this whole thing should should lift out to the point where I can get at least far enough that I can get to the uh, capacitor that I need to change on here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, someone's done some mod work down here. Looks like they put a couple diodes on the bottom. But this cap is uh, is bad, so we'll take this one out. Well, we'll try. Gotta keep this up a little more. Get the solder to flow. This is a, a, a nice plated board. As you can see, that cap, the, the pin came right off of it. And it's here. We can pull it right through. Got a new cap here, 330 microfarads. Uh, clean up the holes here a bit so I can get the uh, new part through. So we'll just use some wick on the top side of the board and the bottom side and try to clear the hole up a bit so that I can, uh, as I say, feed it through. This is a plated board. This is on this one, a, an actual uh, desoldering pump would actually come in handy, handy on this, uh, a proper. Uh, desolder station would come in handy because it is a plated board. These are usually kind of hard to get the solder out of the holes, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll get it. That one's not coming out again.
much. I think those are shorter ones. One thing I can say for certain is that the uh, controls are dirty, so I'm going to clean the controls. I, I have no way of testing this thing because I don't have the interface. This is a an interface that goes into a computer for recording. And, you know, into something like Pro Tools, right, or some other audio recording software. And I don't have the interface that goes into the FireWire, so really I can't, not a heck of a lot I can do on this thing. I can't even test it. I can tell that the controls are dirty and I can tell that that one capacitor here was bad because it had a well, it was all popped on top but so I changed the cap I'll put a fuse in it I'll clean the controls and that's about all I can do on this thing They really free up once the uh, lubricant starts to get working on them. Like the controls are really stiff, and then after after the lubricant works its way in, it uh, they free right up. That's about all I can do on this unit. I'll put that new fuse in. It's a uh, what is it? It's a 125 milliamp fuse. It's a small one. Well, I went close to that, I think. We'll replace the fuse, and that's that's about all I can do on this one. Um, hope it works. That's all I can say, because I can't test it. Supposed to be 125 milliamp slow blow fuse. The smallest that I've got is a fast blow, but it's a half an amp, so it'll have to do. That's the smallest one that I have. Okay, uh, top cover. Here we go. That's back in place. Okay, this thing's back together. Hope it works. Thanks for watching.